Today, I'm giving my runner's review of the Pamu Slide Mini. Ten point zero zero miles, nine minutes, one seconds per mile, 148 beats per minute on average for my sweat test today. Wanted to put in uh, a good 90 minute sweat test on the Pemu Slide Mini before I put together this review. Uh, and now before I get to my thoughts on that review, I do wanna go over some disclosures. This is a pair of earbuds that was sent to me by Pamu for the purpose of review. However, they're not paying me to make this video uh, or to use these earbuds, and they're not gonna get a chance to preview any of my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. Now, with the disclosures out of the way, let's take a look at the Pamu Slide Mini. Now, this is a pair of earbuds that I've kind of reviewed before. Uh, earlier in this year, I re reviewed the Pemu Slide, which is uh, a product with a name that made sense because the case lid slid open. But this one is the Pemu Slide Mini. It's still called the Slide, even though the case uh, opens with a hinge. Uh, but it's a mini because it's the same earbuds as far as I can tell. I've tried reaching out to them to ask them if it's the same exact earbud or not. They haven't answered that question yet as of the time of filming of this video. Uh, but I think it's the same exact earbud now just in a smaller case, uh, which I think is great because the biggest complaint I had for that particular earbud was that the case was giant. And the reason the case was giant is because there was two versions of the Pemu Slide, the Pemu Slide and the Pemu Slide Plus. The Pemu Slide Plus, which came in black, which is the one that I requested when they asked me if I wanted to review a product, does have uh, inductive charging on it. So you can set your phone on top of the, the headphone case and top up your phone battery with it. And it was a giant case and that all made sense. The one they sent to me was the regular Pemu Slide, which is the one that comes in white, which doesn't have uh, a charging case on it. It just has a giant case with a giant battery uh, in its defense, but it just had a giant heavy case that I never wanted to carry around with me at all. Now this one is much smaller. And again, I did ask for them to send me a, one of the Pamu Slide Mini in black. They sent me one not in black, but that's okay. Uh, Cause that doesn't affect the way that the earbuds sound. And that really is the story about these earbuds is the sound. The sound is just absolutely fantastic. Right now, these earbuds are listed at $70 on their website. And I think for $70, you're getting way much more sound quality than I would ever expect out of that price point. It is one of the better sounding earbuds that I've run in, in the year. Uh, it just really surprises me every time I put them in, just how full the sound is. And so it's very pleasant to me, lots of bass, which is something that I really like. And the sound just quality seems really enveloping. I really enjoy uh, listening to music and podcasts on these earbuds. The one thing that I will mention though, is that the way that these earbuds are designed, uh, they are not uh, round earbuds that kind of squish in. They are uh, like ovals and they're a little bit taller. And there is a, a soft tip that you use uh, to get a really snug fit right inside into your ear canal. And so while that all helps in terms of getting really great sound, what it ends up doing is really isolating you from the world around you. Now, I ran with these uh, in a couple of different situations uh, where every time I've run in these, uh, something ends up startling me. Uh, I took them out for my Saturday long run, which was a three hour run. And uh, I got surprised by a farm dog. So I was running out by my in-laws house. And uh, even though th the terrain is just wide open spaces, pretty much everywhere you can look, uh, uh, I think it was a golden retriever, no, uh, a Labrador 
came up to me and uh, I didn't notice it until it was basically right on me, even though I presume it had been barking at me for, for quite a while. And so that surprised me. So for run commuting, uh, yes, it does close off a little bit of the sound, but I'm still able to see around me. So uh, I don't think it's a huge deal, but certain things that are coming up like very close to me in my periphery, or like right back here, sometimes have a chance of sneaking up on me because I can't hear them as well. Uh, it all helps in creating a fantastic sound, but uh, I do feel extremely closed off from the world when I put these in. Now, in terms of uh, navigating with these earbuds, this was an issue that I had with the Pamu slides, and it's the same earbud as far as I can tell, just in a different case. And so if you do want to learn more detail about the earbuds themselves and the sound quality, I go into a lot more detail in the other video, and I'll post a link in the description down below. Uh, but in terms of navigating with these, there are not buttons, but there are touch sensitive areas on the earbud themselves. And that's hard for me to deal with right now because it's winter time. I'm running with gloves uh, or mittens. One tap on the right hand side will pause music. Two taps will advance the track. Most of the time, I'd say probably about half the time. When I try to double tap the earbud, I miss one of the two taps. And so it ends up pausing the music. Now, a good thing that it does is when you pause the music or when you try to advance the track, a tone alerts you to the fact that you have touched and interacted with the earbud somehow. But there isn't a different tone for pause music versus advancing track. So a lot of times I'll think I've advanced a track, but I've actually just paused it and I'll wait thinking, okay, I'm streaming music through my phone, so maybe it's just waiting for the next track to load up or maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just waiting for something and there's just nothing coming out. And then I'll realize, oh, I paused the music on accident. And so then I'll double tap more intentionally next time. But I think that if you've paused it and double tap, I don't think it advances the track. I think you have to unpause it first, then double tap. And so I always just advancing tracks, interacting with this thing uh, is difficult even in great conditions. In the winter, it's just unpleasant. And so what I typically find is that I'm trying to get to use Siri if I need to do any of that kind of stuff. To activate Siri on these earbuds, you have to take off my other glove and double tap the left-hand side. And once you can do that, if you can do that, because uh, I have the same problems with double tapping right and left, uh, then Siri works fine. The microphones pick up my voice just fine. What I typically end up doing is what I typically end up doing is just not interacting with it at all. Whatever's playing is whatever's playing. Uh, and I just kind of leave it at that. Same thing with volume, whatever the volume is when I start, that's the volume I'm gonna have for the rest of that run. What salvages it is that the sound is fantastic and also the battery life is, is fantastic. I went for a three hour run on Saturday, like I mentioned, and when I came back, I don't think that I had really even put that much of a dent in the battery life. I was just super impressed by that. And uh, the earbuds just never fall out. I th would think that because of the size of these earbuds, they're a little bit bigger and they're a little bit heavier, uh, that they'd be uncomfortable for long periods of time and they would definitely fall out once I got sweaty. But for the three hour run, no problem with the earbuds, very comfortable to wear. In terms of falling out, the 90 minute sweat test of the treadmill today and I had some marathon pace miles in there so I was moving a little bit faster. Um, the earbuds still didn't fall out, had no issues there. So really surprised by that. So doing really well in those two aspects. It's IPX6 rated, so it's supposed to be sweat proof. I think IPX6 means like splashes of water in that direction. So you should be fine if you get caught out in the rain. Uh, they're not waterproof, but uh, rainproof, I think, is probably the best way to describe IPX6. And the thing that I like most about this case, other than the fact that it's a lot smaller now, uh, it's definitely a case that I would consider running with. It also can charge wirelessly. So you could just set it down on your wireless charging mat and it will top up, which I think is just super convenient. Really nice, because then you're taking the earbuds out, you already got the case in your hand, just set it down. You don't have to plug it in. Really nice, you have fully charged earbuds for the next time you pick it up. One interesting thing I will note though, if you pick it up right off the charger and put the earbuds in right away, they're warm, which is weird, but also nice in the winter time. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to happen, if that's a good thing or a bad sign, I'm not sure. I'm just letting you know, mine got really warm, almost hot. 
uh, after sitting on a wireless charger for a little while and then I put the earbuds right in my ear. So, uh, interesting. So those are my thoughts on the Pamu Slide Mini at $70. I think it's a pretty good value for what you're getting for the money. If you have any more questions or comments about the Pamu Slide Mini or the Pamu Slide in general, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it more down there. And before I go for today, I wanna to remind you guys about the charity runner for this week. This week is Melissa Sawyer, who's gonna be running the Museum of Aviation Half Marathon in January. And she's doing it to raise money for the Epilepsy Foundation. I was happy to donate $70 to her fundraising efforts. And I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video, and I will see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?